Hi, so star of the week from new class for last week was Alia. And Alia is just a gem to have in your classroom. She gets on. Some of the time you can even forget she's there because she just follows instructions, does exactly what she's meant to be doing. She's in the right place at the right time and just always smiling and ready to do her best. However, when it comes to group work, she also is able to then join in, share ideas, put her hand up to answer questions. She's just great to have in your classroom. So our star of the week this week is Alia. Well done, Alia. Well done, Harshi. You are the star of the week. You have been trying really hard in maths. What numbers have we been learning? The number three. Can you show me your fingers, the number three? I'm sure everyone, wow, you are also the star of the week because you are always showing me the carpet rules, you are always joining in, you try really hard, you are really kind to your friends, so you are the star of the week, well done. So Dylan, I chose you for Chestnut Star of the Week because you have just had an absolutely superb start to the year. You are in every single day, you are doing your work, you are concentrating, you are helping your friends. But the biggest thing that I'm proud of is how well you are managing your feelings. Yep. You are really able to calm yourself down. And I'm not just the only person who has noticed it. Um, Hayley has noticed it, Miss mm -hmm. Ecclesby, Miss mm -hmm. Corlett even mm -hmm. mentioned it because we had a little chat, didn't she? Mm -hmm. You are just doing superb at keeping yourself calm. And when you don't, when you get a little bit annoyed, you can bring yourself back down, which is amazing because that is so mm -hmm. far on from last year, isn't it? Yeah. Good boy, you superstar. Well done. Priya, you are my star of the week this week because your confidence has grown over the past few weeks in year five and I've seen you improve with your work. You are resilient and you're not afraid to ask if you're unsure. So well done, Priya. Keep it up. My star of the week for last week was Fazal. And Fazal, you have impressed me since the moment you stepped into our large classroom. With everything that you do, you always put 100% effort in. Your hand is always going up. And I've also seen that you've made a really big effort with your table partner and you're working really well with others. So well done. My start of the week last week was Rehan. Now I've chosen Rehan because of his confidence and how, how, how hard he has been trying. Rehan especially has been working very hard in English because he has been getting his work done as well as helping his friend, haven't you, Rehan? How do you feel about your English work? Good. And do you think you've been improving? I think so too. You're amazing. <laughs> Keep it up. Okay. What shall we give him? Fantastic! Yes. Are you ready, Rehan? Fantastic! Well done, Superboy. Good morning. So, Maple Star of the Week last week was Emily. Now, I taught this class very briefly in year two. And it was, it's been amazing to see how much you've grown. You've gone through year three and you've come into year four, always ready to speak, your hands always up, you persevere so much, you're helping your partners, you're the first with your hand up when I'm ready to respond, and I'm just so, so proud of how well you've come into year four. You keep it up all year. Yeah, <laughs> huge, well done. Okay, and Emily would like a fantastic, we ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Well done, Miss Sam, you were my star of the week this week and you've really impressed us since you started in year two. You've learned to make choices between different activities and now you're playing in our little home corner and having lots of fun and that makes us really happy. We want you to keep, keep doing that. Well done. In Willow class, our star of the week is Isla this week. I have chosen Isla because Isla has had the most enthusiastic start to year one. Isla is so happy about doing all of her learning and she thoroughly enjoys every single subject. She comes to school with a huge big smile on her face every day and she's always putting a hand up to answer my questions. I am so proud of you Isla. You need to keep smiling and keep up the great work. Well done. So Dowd, we're here to do Star of the Week. 
do you know why you were chosen as the star in Silver Birch? Yeah. Go on then, why? Because of phonics, what you've been doing in phonics, that's so yeah. great. Learning your sounds and using your Fred fingers. And Miss Minchel told me that she thought that you deserve to be star of the week because you're absolutely fabulous in phonics. You're listening, you do magnetise, you use your Fred fingers to spell words. And she said to me that Mrs. Dudson down is absolutely outstanding in my phonics group. Outstanding means that you are the shining star in that phonics group at the moment and you're doing so well. So that's why you're down. You are star of the week. Well done. How do you feel? Happy. Happy. <laughs> Congratulations. What celebration would you like? Bye, right there, Eddie. Whoosh! Well done, girl. So, my star of the week for last week was Olivia, and that's because she's made such a good impression from the first day of year six. She has persevered through any challenge and she throws herself into any new learning that comes her way. But we've been working on descriptive writing in year six, and I was just so impressed with all the features and how the flair that Olivia's writing has that I wanted you to hear some of her descriptive writing of a concentration camp. Nightmare, fear, darkness. This is what she was surrounded by. Clatter. People were through, through across the dirty cramped train. No one dared to talk. No one dared to whisper. They knew the danger they were in. As she looked around her surroundings, she saw hopeful children lose faith, lose faith in mothers fearing for their families. There were men finally breaking into lamentations or sorrowful tears. Right, fantastic. And that's why she got it this week. So, Miss Sabre, you are star of the week for hair class. Congratulations. I have spoken to Mrs. Ireland and I've spoken to Mrs. Richardson and we've decided that you are going to be our first star of the week. That was done. So we've chosen you for lots of reasons. You are kind. You are good at listening. You always try your best. And I have seen you being really helpful with some of your friends as well. And some people have not been as happy. You've been happy to go and help them, which is such a lovely quality. So well done, Miss Eva. Congratulations. Keep up that lovely work you're doing. Okay. Would you like a fantastic part of my A firework. A firework. You ready? Well done, Miss Ava. So, Isa, congratulations. You're my star of the week. Why do you think you got star of the week? What are you holding up there in your hands? Left and right. Left and right. And you know you're left and right, don't you? Yeah, my mum tells me as well. I tell when I was doing, I yited on my helmet when I get it into a necklace. Fabulous. Wow. It was a pony one. Wow. And you know what I loved as well? Because you know you're left and right. You were able to give Azan instructions during our computing lessons, do you remember? Yes. And he was a human bee bot and you told him to turn left and you told him to turn right, didn't you? Yes. So congratulations, darling, and well done. So my star of the week for Silver Birch is you, Lexi. And I chose you, Lexi, because you are using our all of
and describe and prove everything.